Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a fully linked digital planner in just less than 10 minutes by not linking any pages, but only replacing the internal pages with templates of your choice. So again, I will not show you how to link this planner. In this tutorial, we will use a pre-linked completed digital planner like I have here where the planner has all tabs already linked and we will only exchange the internal pages um, with a different one. So first step is to open up the Explore page and then you want to search for a digital planner and then open up a finished um, planner that has all links in there. So for example, you can use this one right here I'll show you the PDF file of this um, digital weekly planner. This is how it looks like. This digital planner has an index page. It continues with a calendar where you can click on this tab and it opens the 2023 calendar page. It has um, a January monthly page and then it continues with dated weekly pages for January. And then it goes over to February and then again has dated pages for February and then it also has one for March, April, May, June. Uh, on the left side you also have access to the notes pages, the lists and then as shown before the calendar and the index page. So this planner for example would be fully linked and all you need to do is just replace the internal pages to create a similar planner like this, but in your own style. So again, we will not link any pages, we will only exchange them with our own. Uh, let's open up this planner. Um, also click on apply to um, download this weekly planner to the create page. And here you see all the pages. It has in total uh, 72 pages. Now let's say you want to replace the monthly page with a different template. What you can do from here is go to template up here. And then from here you have access to the starter templates on Planify Pro. So here we have a starter monthly collection with a bunch of different kinds of monthly templates you can use. Or if you have your own monthly calendars, you can also go to your collection or go to my collection. And here you will have access to all your saved tags and all your saved planners. Um, let's say you want to insert a, mon a template into this digital planner. I'll now go back to starter templates and then monthly. And I think I would like to replace it with this planner right here. You can click on skeleton. This will only exchange the layout and the widget. Or you can click on style. And now it will also take over the fonts and the color and the styling of this template. So now it's the exact same one as in the original template. Okay, by clicking on skeleton and style, you've uh, transported or you've loaded um, this template to one page, but now we also would like to insert this template into all the other monthly pages. You can now click on apply to pages and now you can select to only apply this monthly calendar to the calendar in the digital planner. So we want it to apply to February. So the name of this page is February 2023 and then we also want it to apply to March 2023. So remember these names, go back to apply to pages and select January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, 
October as well and December. Okay, you only want to replace the monthly pages. Then click on skeleton and style or only skeleton if you only want to replace the layout and widgets. And now wait around 15 seconds or maybe 24 seconds to replace all the pages. It's very quickly, won't take that long. Okay. And now you see that all our monthly pages have been replaced with the new template. So let's check January. Okay, let's check February. Looks good as well. Let's check March. Looks fine as well. Now let's do the same thing for the weekly internal pages. This is the original. Now let's see what we have here. I'll also apply a starter template, but if you have one already saved in your collection, which has date flags as well, you can also use your own. Starter, and then let's go to weekly data. It's important that the template you are inserting in here has date flags as well, so it has a place to show the dates. Um, let me see here. Maybe I will replace it with... Maybe I can replace it with this template right here. So you can also click on skeleton to see how it would look like. This is how it would look like. Or maybe this one. I think this one maybe would look nice too. Or maybe this one. Or this one here or maybe a simple one. I think I will go with this one here. And then this is how the style would be with the style applied. And if you're happy and you want to apply this template to all the other ones, go to apply to pages. And now you want to select all the weekly pages, not the monthlies, but the weeklies. Now, instead of selecting each field, it's easier to Simply click on select all and then you want to deselect index, the calendar and the monthly pages and only have uh, the weekly pages here selected. These are the ones you want to exchange. Okay, let me quickly unselect the monthlies. also unselect the lists and the notes pages we don't want to change them looks good now skeleton style and let's run the program it would take around less than two minutes maybe one and a half minutes to apply all the pages uh, what we improved as well is the speed of applying the templates it's now three times faster than it used to be so that one's a great update as well. It now takes much, much faster. And then once we have all the templates applied, I'll also show you how we can further customize the weekly um, digital planner. All right, it now has completed. Let's check what we have here. We have a monthly calendar and we have the weeklies and now all the templates have been replaced with those we have chosen from the starter collection. This is how it looks like. Uh, I would make sure that all um, templates have been applied correctly. There is a slight chance, a 5% chance that it didn't apply the template correctly. Um, if not, you can manually um, apply the skeleton and style to specific pages which look odd or where the templates haven't been applied correctly but usually it will apply you all the pages um, correct. Okay so let's say you are happy with your digital planner and now you want to change the color from green to blue. 
um, what you can do go is go to layout digital planner and maybe choose a blue one blue gray like this maybe you would also like to change the colors of the date flags i mean i mean of the tabs on the sides uh, maybe change this one to a blue like this and then here we can choose a lighter blue uh, down here as well and then uh, you can also for example change the fonts of the tabs so let's also do that mm, maybe let's select this font right here make it a bit smaller and now to apply this digital planner styling to all the other pages go to apply style to page and you want to unselect everything here and only have margin apply digital planner style and apply digital planner tabs selected make sure all pages have been ticked both sides and then click on apply style to pages this will take around maybe three minutes not longer than three minutes so let's quickly speed up the process all right completed this is how the finished planner looks like um, this probably would be the only page we would need to change styling wise so in this case what you can do let's say you want to take over this styling the font the style the color to another page such as here on the second page what you can do is go to this page or any other page you want to copy the styling from go back to apply style select the font you want to apply the font the the styling the color margin as well you can unpick these two you don't need to apply this to all pages you only want to apply it to the index page and maybe yeah the second page two pages right and click on apply style to pages there we go so now it has applied the style to the second page um, let's also quickly fix this one this one says sticker so if you go from sticker you can also um, work with these labels um, here you will need to individually change the color of the boxes so go back to planner click on click within a box and here on the background you want to choose a new color of the background for example this one here or you can also go to color and then you can go to heather and you can choose a blue color and now when you click within the widgets you will see the blue color appear right here in the selection so you don't need to color pick or type in the color code for each specific field now you can just click on it like this okay I am quickly changing all the colors and then all you need to do is export the planner oops one second this one as well okay save export then export digital selected double page and then you want to click on batch generate pdf to create the digital planner and that is how you can quickly create a digital planner in maybe less than 10 minutes i will quickly also show you how we can further customize it so let's say you're happy with your planner but you decide that you maybe want to um, replace this field here with a to-do list like this maybe you decide that you actually want to have down here below a 
notes section instead you can do that as well maybe you even say that or maybe if you even want to have an additional to-do list here on the right side so layout planner adjust layout add a column add a new box extend the upper box like this so maybe you want to have two to-do lists you can do that as well now the only thing is that now you would need to apply this template to all the other monthly pages the easiest way to do that would be to save this digital page to your collection by going to save export save give it a name such as monthly planner digital then you want to save it to your collection so if you already have a tag you can save it to a tag i'll save it to um, i'll save it to daily digital planner because this tag is easy to find for me you can save it anywhere just make sure you will find it in your collection and then instead of saving all 72 pages just save this this page only so you can click here on duplicate and make a copy of this one selected page so let's do that click on it and then it will take a few seconds and it will save you only this one page to your collection so let's quickly save it, it will take a few seconds saving completed we don't need this one down here okay go to template now go to my collection up here my collection i've saved it to the digital daily tag right here i saved it in here and then you should find your save planner in here so it's right here and then from here you can apply it to your pages let's open up february and let's apply the new one you can click on skeleton and see it will apply you the new page you can do it manually so you can open up march click on skeleton apply it individually or you can open apply to pages and then you can click to only apply to the monthly pages like this um, it's equal fast I don't think one way is faster than the other but I will show it to you this way it's less clicking okay all the monthly pages have been selected then let's click on skeleton and it will take less than 20 seconds I would say April May it's now in June September October, November and December. All right, so now the template has been applied to all the pages. Let's check January, let's check maybe April. Okay, April is correct, May is correct as well. And this was how you can simply create a digital planner without having to link it yourself by just replacing internal pages with your own. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me Instagram or Facebook and I will try to reply to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!